My name is Willy Wonka. All the colors of the rainbow and some others too. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Literally, it is evening. Normally, whenever I do my intros, it's somewhat light. But today, tonight, it is the evening. Now, this is vlog 17. Can't even remember what vlog 17 was last year. I like to remember, you know, last year's vlogs. But with this one, yeah, this is going to be a, a documentary movie. We are off to see tonight Bob Marley, One Love. Now, this is obviously a documentary movie about Bob Marley. And the only thing I know about Bob Marley, he changed music, reggae music. And the only music that I know from his, and you can laugh and you can take the piss out of this, but I know it from Shark Tale. You know, the, the Will Smith fish movie. Yeah, some of his music was in that. And that's how I know the music of Bob Marley. Now, in this documentary movie, Bob Marley is played by Kingsley Benadir, who you might remember from the Marvel Secret Invasion series. And he was also in the Barbie movie last year. He was one of the cans. Now, Bob Marley's wife is actually played by Lashana Lynch in this version, this documentary style movie. I didn't realize it first until I went and did a bit of research. And yeah, that's that's Lashana Lynch, who was in Matilda, Captain Marvel, The Woman King. Lashana Lynch has a pretty good back catalogue of movies. And now she can add this to it. I, I don't know how I feel about this one, you know, when it comes to the documentary history movies, I, I'm always <laughs> quite skeptical about them. But with this one, this one I thought, why not? I'd seen the trailer for it. I didn't recognize uh, Kingsley Benadir at first, again, until I went and did some of my research. And now I can safely say, oh yeah, that's, that's him. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, I will see you after this movie. And yeah, it, it should be an interesting one. You know, I get to learn always with these documentary movies. I learn a good amount from them because normally my history not exactly the best so watching these documentary style movies yeah i actually learn quite a good amount from them and that's always that's always good for me i love learning and these documentary style movies it, it's always something new that i learn about them that was the same with the iron claw we came right a couple of weeks ago. I learned so much about the Von Erich family. Me being a big wrestling fan. That was more reason for me to go and see it and go, oh, okay, yeah, I'm actually learning quite a lot here. And yeah, that's always the case with these kind of movies that you're always learning something. So the, the history playlist that we have, you generally learn quite a lot. You might not learn a lot from me, but I learn quite a lot. 
And with this one, yeah, it's how Bob Marley changed music and then changed the world. So there's quite a lot to dive in with this. So ladies and gentlemen, I will see you after. We'll have a talk, spoilers, obviously, even though this is a real life movie, so the majority of spoilers are already out there about Bob Marley, but there's always something new to learn. Why do people have those automatic sensors? <laughs> it's like they either want to say, oh, I got you, bitch, or you're now blinded. <laughs> it's one of the two. It's definitely one of the two, but I'll see you after this movie. <laughs> This movie delivered. When I say a movie delivered, I mean it delivered. But I'm only giving it four stars. Normally with these documentary style movies, I tend to give it four stars. Sometimes I can push to a five, but in this scenario, four stars. And I'll tell you why. Kingsley Benadir was fantastic in this role. I always give respect to the actors who portray these famous icons. Austin Butler as Elvis. Rami Malek as Freddie Mercury. Renee Zellweger as Judy Garland amongst others the, there's just so many good ones and even Lashana Lynch as Rita Mar Marley I almost got his last name wrong there yeah that was Bob Marley's wife just everything about this movie man like the the, the gun firing on Bob Marley. The amount of... He didn't really have, like, a drug problem or anything, but... Marijuana was... Quite frequent in this movie, and... Spoiler. Kind of. I mean... You should know this already, but... Bob Marley died... At the age of 36... And it was because of cancer that he died. And he got to perform in Jamaica. Even though he was really worried about going back there. Because of all the shootings and everything. But because of his music. That was the tagline. He was able to change music. And then he changed the world. Which he did. And... Yeah, as I say, Kingsley Benadire was fantastic in this role. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to do it. That's making me need a toilet. <laughs> uh, that's going to do it. We don't have any other movies uh, in February currently. At the moment of recording this, we don't have anything until the 1st of March which is Dune Part 2. There's loads of movies in March. We were trying to beat 12 this month, but this is only, what, Vlog 5? This month, we haven't even gotten halfway to beating 12. Which, you know, not entirely my fault. There's just no, no, no movies uh, this month. So, you know, there's nothing 
nothing really I can do. Uh, if a movie does pop up, then hell yeah, we'll, we'll go see it. We'll go see it, no problem. But as of right now, as of this vlog going up tonight, there is nothing. So, if I don't see you before March, then I will see you on March 1st for Dune Part 2. <sighs> Thought, ah, uh, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll get even maybe halfway, but no. We're, we're not that lucky. Unfortunately, February has defeated us. February has been like, nope. You're not beating that. You got 12 last month. We're going to put a halt on it in February. I blame Madam Webb. It's her fault. <sighs> ah, well. <sighs> I'm actually dying by the train station. There's no train coming by. And why would there be? I mean, <laughs> it's almost what... I haven't got a watch, but yeah, why would a train be coming by at this time? <sighs> so ladies and gentlemen, if I don't see you again this month, then I'll see you in March for Dune Part 2. I still don't understand the concept of Dune. I might need to watch Part 1. I've got two weeks to do it, so... Better get on that right away, Ryan. <laughs>